<laughs> Hello kids, welcome to the Kids 252 show. My name is Sina and I'm so excited to have you a part of this show with me. I hope you're all well. I know you've been at school. How has school been? Oh, I hope you've been having a great time because I have been. Anyway, today we are at Early Childhood Development Program. It is under Africa Renewal Ministries and it takes care of the needy children. Children who don't have food, who don't have clothing, who don't have uh, support, you can say it like that. But um, so they have an activity going on today and I want you guys to be part of this as we go and check it out. So today I'm here with teacher Annette at Early Childhood Development Program and I'm going to ask her to tell us what Early Childhood Development Program is all about, what they do, how they operate and so many more. So let's hear from her. Hello, I'm Annette. Early Childhood is a program that takes care of children from the ages of one year to three. Here at the program, children are brought on a daily basis, Monday to Friday. They are brought at 7.30 and they are taken at 5. How do we get these children? We get these children from the community, vulnerable children. Most of them, we find them from needy families when they are malnourished. So while they are here, they are fed on a balanced diet. We feed them, we give them three meals a day before they are taken to their homes. So let me ask something small. Is it uh, only GABA or you, you reach out to other different places in the community? Uh, we basically deal it with people, reachable places that is within GABA. Okay. Yeah. So, teacher Annette, please tell us what has been going on here because I've been seeing people busy, moving up and down. Oh, thank you very much. Today, God blessed us with the uh, 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 clothes which we have given to our children, we have given to their mothers. As we give them food, this time we are giving them clothes because the clothing is one of the basic needs we have so that they will be putting on them while they come to the program. Wow, they have been blessed. Did you hear that they just got clothes? Our prayers are working. I hope you've been a part of the activities we've been sharing here. And you know our show is still going on and I hope you've heard from teacher Annette. So let's go in for dance, music, praise and worship, and everything that has to come in there. See you later. Enjoy.
dear children, our memory verse today is from the book of Galatians, chapter 6, verse 7. It says, Do not be deceived, God cannot be mocked. Do not be deceived, God cannot be mocked. What does it mean? Uh, you can plan to do something silently, but God will know it. He knows it before you even begin to practice what you want to do. Before you even think of what you are going to do, God knows it because he sees us deep, deep inside. He sees, he knows what you are about to do and what you are going to do. So don't deceive yourself that no one is seeing you. You do something from there and you come here and you tell lies. He will know it. He can't be mocked.
Good morning children, my name is Teacher Winnie O. You are welcome to our session. Our theme is being honest and our topic today is uh, Ananias and, uh, and Sophila. We are getting it from the book of Acts chapter 5 from verse 1 to 11. We are going to watch the movie and I'll be back after the movie. Ananias and Sapphira. Let me tell you a story about a couple who tried to hide a secret and lied, but they forgot that the Holy Spirit could see them. Ananias and his wife Sapphira were early believers of Jesus Christ, and all of the believers shared what they had to the church. If someone sold their land or house, they would bring all the money they earned to the apostles so that it could be distributed to those in need. Now Ananias and Sapphira had sold a piece of property, but instead of giving everything they had to the church, Ananias kept a portion of the money for himself. When he gave the rest of the money to the apostles, Peter said, Ananias, how is that that Satan had filled up your heart that you've lied to the Holy Spirit and you have kept some of the money you've received from selling the land for yourself? Why did you do what you do? You have not lied just to human beings but to God. As soon as Ananias heard what Peter said, he fell down and died. Everyone who heard this became very afraid. Some young men came and wrapped up Ananias' body and carried him out to be buried. Three hours later, Sapphira came and she had no idea of what happened to her husband. Is this the price you and Ananias got for the land? Yes, that is the price. How could you both work together to test the Holy Spirit? The man who buried your husband are at the door, and they will do the same to you. Right at that moment, Sapphira fell down and died too. And just as Peter had said, the same young man who carried and buried her husband Ananias got her body and buried her next to her husband. All those who heard about what happened became very afraid. I hope you have enjoyed and you have learned something out of our, our movie. Uh, these are some of the lessons we pick from the movie. If you are there, we should always tell the truth. When you are at home, always tell the truth. Just like we saw Anania, he was asked and he told lies, he died. God doesn't want lies and it is very bad. Even when Sophila came, she also told lies because they had agreed not to tell the truth. She died because of telling lies. So, as little children, when you are asked at home, please tell the truth. You know, sometimes it's hard because you fear to be beaten. But tell the truth, and after telling the truth, ask for forgiveness. If they are going to give you, if they were to give you five canes, they'll give you two. Tell the truth. When you were at school, you have picked in somebody's bag. Maybe you took some cagolillos. Maybe you took something and the friend comes and asks, who has taken my thing? Please tell the truth, tell the truth. Always ask, always tell the truth. And remember, if you want something, ask for it politely so that you avoid telling lies and doing such things. Uh, if you are at the play earlier, something happened bad, tell the truth. If someone has got an accident, 
tell the truth that it was an accident. Don't tell lies. If maybe a toy has got lost in your hands, say, please, I was playing and it got lost. Please tell the truth. Children, let's always tell the truth. At the church, tell the truth everywhere. Everywhere, tell the truth. Even parents, tell your children the truth. Tell them the truth. When it comes to removing tooth, don't tell them the rats will give you money. One day my child refused me to beat the rat because she knew the rat was going to give her money after removing the tooth. Parents, please tell the children the truth. No matter what it takes, tell them the truth. Even in other kinds, in other things, tell them the truth. That has been our lesson. I hope you've learned something. Being honest is very good. Parents, children, when we are honest to one another, we shall be friends to one another and we shall be friends to God because God wants us to be honest and always to tell the truth. See you next time. Dear children, I have some questions for you. I know you've been learning from the time we started watching the movie and uh, all the lessons have been good. Now it's time for questions and I'm going to ask you questions. You answer, you can write on your papers or you can have it. You can say it but I can't hear you now. Okay, question number one, here it goes. Who sold their land? Who sold they are piece of land. I know someone is now scratching their head and another one has it. Someone has started writing, but let me give you the answer. Uh, Anania and Sophila, they sold the land. Question number two says, where did they suppose to take the money? Where did they suppose to take the money? Mm, what do you think? Where did they suppose to take the money? Yes, they were supposed to take the money to their priest because they had agreed to sell everything and bring the money to the priest. Okay, why did they keep part of the money for themselves? Why? You think why did they keep the money? As you watched the movie, yes, think, think, think. It's about thinking, think and tell us. Write it down. But they kept the money because they were selfish. They were selfish. They didn't want to share equally. And another question is, what happened to Ananias when he fell down? What happened to him? What happened when he told lies and when he fell down? Yes, when he fell down, he died. Men came took him and I buried him. Okay, the last question is, what do you learn from the story? What do you learn from the story? Uh, we learn that we should always tell the truth. And another lesson, we should not be selfish. Selfish will make you tell lies and you will not tell the truth so dear friends always tell the truth thank you for watching our program i have been teacher win oh see you next time
welcome into this new year. Um, we wish you God these blessings this year as we go th through the year again. Uh, this is Dr. Marshall from Wayne's Medical Center and today we are going to talk about a very very important topic and that is personal hygiene. So what is personal hygiene? These are practices or habits that we try to uh, practice every single day so that we keep a good health or we don't fall sick. Or practices that prevent us from catching diseases. So what are some of the types of personal hygiene today we are going to talk about? We have uh, food hygiene. When it comes to food, food is a very big source of um, infections because we eat food every single day. So when do we get these diseases or how should we prevent the diseases by maintaining uh, a good food hygiene? One, when it comes to uh, the preparation of our foods, we make sure that the food is always clean, try to uh, wash the vegetables, wash the fruits. Uh, when it comes to the serving, make sure it is served in a clean plate, clean dish, or whatever, whatever utensils that we are using. And then also make sure you eat food that is clean, food that is hot, so that you don't catch these diseases. Uh, the second uh, type of hygiene that we really need to talk about today is the body hygiene. So when it comes to the body hygiene, uh, we, this, like, these are the practices that we have to do every single day. Like for example, bathing every single day. We make sure that we bathe so that uh, we maintain a good health. Maintaining uh, physical exercises are also good to maintain your, your body in shape. Care about your skin. Keep the nails short, keep the hair short. Those are some of the, 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 the few things that you can do to keep your body hygiene. Now, the third that we are going to talk about today is the oral hygiene. So when it comes to oral hygiene, we know that we have to brush our teeth every single day, at least twice in a day. Uh, in the morning when we wake up and at night before you go to bed, make sure you brush your teeth twice a day. But in between there, you can always brush every after a meal so that you avoid the tooth decays or any other uh, dental uh, caries. Um, then the other is um the health hygiene when it comes to health uh for example when we are sick or when uh, a child has flu make sure you wear your mask remember we are in the middle of uh, a pandemic yes always maintain the mask on and if you are to sneeze please always sneeze in the inside of your elbow. Observe the SOPs. Maintain a distance of about two meters with your friends when you're, you know, in your leisure time or whatever you're doing, always maintain the SOPs. And then, last but not least, we shall talk about the hand hygiene. The hand is always a, a very big source of infections because the hands pick whatever that we need and then we put it in our mouth using our hands. So we make sure that we keep our hands clean. How do we keep our hands clean? Always wash your hands before touching anything you eat or whatever it is that you want to do. Always wash your hands. Keep your nails short. The nails are a very big source of infection because the germs will hide under your long nails. 
So children, please always maintain a very, very short nail. So with all that said today, I really hope um, when we uh, get back home there or we are in school, we shall try to always uh, echo this in our minds. Make sure that the body is clean, the nails are short, the food is always clean before we eat it. And always and always don't forget to always keep that mask on. Much as this is for the children, but parents, we also um, want you to come on board. Please always teach these children the basics of uh, hygiene, basics of washing hands always before eating, basics of um, showering or bathing regularly, cutting the nails short. Please, parents, we, we also um, want you to come and always teach the children on this. And above all, always tell them to always keep the mask on also. Thank you very much, Dr. Marshall, again. And uh, until next time, we meet again. Bye for now. Hello, children and parents. Welcome to the Kids 252 Let's Talk. This is the part where we bring out something and we talk about it a little bit in just like 15 minutes and we are done with it. Now today in our, in our, in our studios, I would say although we are outside, we have uh, one of uh, the ladies that I, I grew up seeing here at church and he has, she has really done a very good job in handling children, uh, used to beat us sometimes. <laughs> yes, and helping the children be who they are right now. So with me, I have uh, a guest, she's going to introduce herself and then I'll tell you what we're going to be talking about today. Uh, my name is Mesbo Prosperity. Mm -hmm. Tell them by the way, what do you do? Like, tell, like They need to know you more a little bit. Uh, mm. My name is Mesbo Prosperity. I serve at Gaba Community Church. Mm -hmm. I do a lot of stuff here. I'm the believer care coordinator. I'm in charge of cleaning of the campus, making mm. sure the church is ready for activities. Mm. Yes. I think you've heard from the lady herself. Um, she's one of the people here. You know, when you come here at church children, she's the most she's the most common face that you will be seeing here at church. Now, Mrs. Mwesigwa, we today we have something exciting that we are going to be talking about. Sin. It is terrifying when you hear about sin. And I know even the children out there, they know sin, sin, it is very terrifying. But let's let's first hear. Today we want to to know why do children cover up? sin when you do something wrong why do you cover it up but before we go into that can you tell us a little bit what is sin because some children may not even know what sin is yes mm. sin are those little sometimes we think it is little mm. those bad things we do and the bible doesn't like it mm. and even condemns it mm. and even our parents doesn't like mm. it like stealing mm -hmm. lying others mm -hmm. yeah, mm -hmm. steal, uh, lying uh, beating your friends mm. Uh, mongering around. Mm. So there are a lot of things mm. yeah, we call sin. And sometimes there are those little things we think mm. that they are not sins. Mm. But before God, there's no big sin and there's no little sin. Because the, ch sins. the children always think when I steal sugar, that is small. When I beat my friend, that is big. Mm. Right? But uh, from, from, from her explanation, children, you've heard even the smallest thing that you've done, it is sin. And all sins are equal. Yes. Yeah, that is what the Bible yeah, says, yes. right? Yes. Okay, so now let's go into this. So before we get to the other part, mm. what is covering up sin? Like, what is, that, what is that action of covering up something wrong? That covering up sin, it's like you've done something wrong and then you hide it. Mm. And you think no one is seeing you. And mm. for sure, sometimes there is no one seeing you. Mm. But God in heaven is seeing you. Mm. And at some point we do things and our parents found out later. Mm. For example, you go and steal sugar and you shake the tin back. Yet mommy knew mm. what was there. Mm. Then after measuring, and it seems like mm, something mm. went wrong. Mm. Also, you can break a glass, and then you throw in the dustbin. <laughs> no, but one day one one when mommy or dad <laughs> or any lead around you mm. eh, finds there, and mm. say, who broke this glass? Mm. I don't know. Mm. Yet you are the what? 
you are the uh, one. And, and children have that, that habit of covering up things. Like, uh, <laughs> I remember one time we broke a glass and then we got super glue and we started to put it there so that maybe someone else can come mm. and then fall into the trap. <laughs> anyway, those are the things that we, mm. children that you do sometimes and you feel like nobody is watching you and no one will find out. But then eventually mm. it happens. Yeah. So uh, let's go to that part. Why do children cover up? And actually it's not even children. Why do we cover up sin? Because we may say, children, children, cover up sin. But then, okay, in general, why do we cover up sin? We cover up sins with the big people mm. and also the children because we want to appear good before others. Mm. For example, in the Bible, Ananias and Sapphira, mm. they, lied, they went and sold their land, the husband and the wife, and they knew the real price they sold. Mm. Then they came to the apostles mm. and said, we, we, gave out, we got this amount of money. Yet it wasn't that. Mm. And the Holy Spirit of God was seeing them. Mm. So here, when we are at home, our parents f finds out, mm. you go mm. and lie mm. something. Mm. And then all of a sudden, our parents come and find mm. out. Or oh, a friend at school mm. comes and reports, Yakubia Munde. Yakubia Munde. and then here, you are the good person. Mm. Eh? So according to Ananias and Safira, mm. it shows mm. when, you are, when you cover up sin, mm. The end of it is sometimes the death, mm. it does us so bad because you may appear good to your parents, mm. but when they come to know the truth, mm. they will hurt you, they will stop trusting you, mm. and then they will, oh, this child, this is, child is a liar. Is a, I want you to comment on this. Yes. Um, because I've also ever been a child. Mm. You've also ever been a child. Mm. What, uh, what condition do parents create that, that stop the children from approaching them and uh, with boldness and tell them, you know what, mommy, I have abused so and so. You know what, mommy, I've done this. Uh, please forgive me. Like, what conditions do parents, because there are some parents that, I from Mama, from yeah, Mrs. Mwesika. It is very true. Sometimes when a child comes and tells you the truth, exactly mm. what they have done, instead of like saying, okay, it's bad, but next time don't do it. What you do, you pick a stick mm -hmm. and beat and you beat so badly. Mm. So this child, even others are watching, mm. they say, oh, if you do something and you speak the truth, you'll be beaten up. So me, I'll not do. Mm. Uh, like, you know, I have grandchildren at home. Mm. Because me, I told my children, when you see, pick the truth, mm. however much it is big, I don't beat you. Mm. So now there are these little ones I found. One had thrown soap in the tank, in the, the tank mm. of water. Mm. But for him, he knew because I have this young one who have just come. Mm. They have not learned me well. Mm. So now they came and, Mommy, they waited for me and they get, Mommy, praise you, throw the soap in the, mm. in the tank. So they knew I was going to be beaten. Mm. So when I came, then he said, he was the first person, mm. Mommy, he call, he's a grandson, but he mm. calls me Mommy. And he said, Mommy, I threw soap in the tank, but mm. it was by mistake. Mm. I had a bucket and the soap in the hands. I told him, mm. oh. That is a mistake. So I told them, the others also, mm. that is a mistake. So mm. what you do next time when you are getting water, first put soap down and then get the water. So, this so one he, said, sp hey. he spoke the truth. The truth. Mm. Hey. So the other ones, the new one who has just come in, mm. he said, hey, so mommy, when you speak the, the truth, truth, it doesn't beat you. Mm. So children need to know when mm. they speak the truth that they are not punished. Mm. But the problem comes in, we teach children, like mm. at home, you teach them the truth. And then when they go to the teacher, there's that teacher. <laughs> or a teacher tells the child the truth, eh? and then goes to that parent who doesn't tolerate. Mm. Whether you've spoken the truth, you'll mm, be beaten. You'll be so, beaten. I would mm. like to tell the parents there, mm. and the teachers, when a child speaks the truth, mm. you tell them what you've done is bad, it is actually very bad, but mm. never do it never again. Do it again. So they grow with it. And mm. if me, a parent, I tell the child like that, and even when they, where the school they go, mm. they tell them the same thing. Listen These children who go knowing, mm. it is good to speak the what? Mm. The truth. I remember one of my boy has now grown, he's at the mm. university. He used to do a lot of wrong, mm. but he comes, forgive me, mommy, forgive me. And mm. at home, we started calling him Banshonyue, all the time Banshonyue. <laughs> Even though I got beat five, because this child has asked for forgiveness, and mm. he has done something wrong. Instead of five, you are going to give three. Three. Mm. Because, you reduce on the punishment. Yes, you mm. reduce on the punishment. So mm. parents out there mm. and teachers, allow the children to speak the truth. Mm, the truth. Yes, and don't punish them. Mm. You've reminded me yes. of uh, when I was young and I went to the, how do you call it? The mm. they, they were feeding. Mm. Kati, we never wanted, I, my mom had told me that we shouldn't go in those what? Cinema halls, those local village cinema halls. 
Oh, mama, nee, I told her. Mama, yeah, oh. Fetwa, de, and we were sneaking. We thought we are clean and clear. Nobody saw us. <laughs> Kumbe, my mom like had a spy network. Mm. And everybody went telling, Oh, I never have them, Chibanda. Oh, I never have them. Oh, because they are talking with me, go kata, I told you. Anyways, um, mm. thank you so much uh, for bringing that out. So parents, I think you need to create that environment where children can freely come and they tell you that, you know what, mommy, I've done this and I've done that. So, so that they do not cover up the wrong things that they have done. Now, why is it always wrong to cover up sin or something wrong that you've done? It is very, very wrong to children and even to, big, uh, to the, the big people. Mm. Because that sin, one day, one time it will come up. Mm. According and you'll be ashamed. Yeah, you'll be ashamed. Mm. Actually, according to the Bible, Ananias and Sapphira, they died. The man he died, lied and he died. The woman came without knowing mm. that they have buried the husband. the husband. Also, she lied mm. and she ended up dying. So uh, you as a child is there. You can lie something. Mm. You can lie to something. Mm. And then you find that, if, like, let's give an example. Mm. One of your friends, or your sister or your brother steals someone's phone mm. and you keep quiet. Mm. You've seen it, you've not reported to mommy or to any mm. person. And you've covered it, you see there they are coming to pick that person, mm. the police. The police. Yeah. But if you are told mommy, mm, the you truth, would have handled it the situation. before even all of you going to, mm, police. to the police. Even though you see your parents doing something wrong mm. and you keep quiet, you end up also going mm. and you lose a lot of So things. then uh, finally, because mm. I know our time is running so yes. fast, so how can we avoid the temptation? Because now we've seen why it is wrong to cover sin. Mm -hmm. But then the thing is, uh, be, every time we, we end our show, we want to at least give a, a resolution to, to the people. So how can we avoid the temptation? And they would love to cover up temptation to, to, to sorry, they would love to cover up sin. And they would love to cover up temptation to, to, to sorry, they would love to, to get tempted to cover up sin. What should they do? What should the children do? Uh, parents and children out there, you need to learn to speak the truth. It is the truth which sets you free, free in anything. Mm. Concerning sin, speak the truth. Sometimes we fear to speak the truth because you know they are going to beat us, they are going to do this, mm. they are going to do... But when you speak the truth, mm. the truth sets you free. Sets you free. Let's free. learn to speak the truth mm. because that's what God wants. Mm. Even yes. when it is costing you chiboko, yes. speak Makube. the truth. Makube na yenga mazima. Yes. And actually when you speak the truth, nemi le mbo jifuna. Yes. Boga mama ona ya siza e chikopo. Boga mama ona mi nso nyuana ya... Like now uri danga. So te tegave la mauli de jiali. And also parents, mm. well, well, there are things eh, like don't just beat up children. Mm. Because even you, you can break a cup. Mm. Even you, you can do mistakes. Let's know that mistakes are there. So children learn to know the sin and mm. mistake. If you keep on beating, even sin, even mm -hmm. what, so they will mess up. So oh, there is, a, as we finalize, there is a little story. Uh, the parent, uh, the day before, had had like spanked the child like mm. seriously for mm. breaking a plate. Mm. Now the following day, the parent also broke a plate. Mm -hmm. So now the child looked at the mother and said, now, mommy, mm -hmm. <laughs> should I also, <laughs> should I also, because like the parent was so mad and so bitter, mm. because those, those things happen. Thank you so much for uh, sparing time to come. Uh, by the way, her nickname is Mama Baker, so if you find her, you can call her Mama Baker. Uh, it has been exciting and you've really, really like, I uh, told us uh, what we should do when we are in wrong, mm. why it is wrong to cover up sin. And what is sin? I think children you've had, parents you've had, please do not cover up sin. The truth shall always set you free. Until next time, I have been Francis Katende from Gaba Community Church and Africa Renew Ministries. Please make sure that you don't always miss our show every Saturday on Google TV 9 to 10 a.m. Mabeka, what is there anything you would like to tell our parents before we go? Uh, parents, I would, like, I would like to encourage you to love your children, mm -hmm. the children you are taking care of. If you love your children, you tell, you teach them how to speak that truth. You, the you, you, you yourself mm. first. They also learn. But if you are also a parent and mm. then you also keep on mm. covering up sin, yeah. it won't help. Parents, be a good example to your children. Mm. Until next time, bye. I hope you enjoyed everything we had to share with you today. So you guys. I've been blessed with a new outfit. Yes, like everyone else, you who is at home, you missed me, I have, and I'm very smart. I hope you can see me. Anyway, 
Thank you for joining us and thank you for watching the show. Thank you for always catching the show. Remember, it's always on Saturday from 9 to 10. Thank you so much. Bye, guys. See you next week.